in the last 30 days, I added 8K in revenue. What was the main client acquisition method you're using? When I joined the program, I started using the method that you're teaching. I would say like 90% of my growth was from that one outreach button. Hey, what's going on, guys? I got a client interview with Shamu who joined my coaching program. So Shamu, what's going on? How's it going? Doing good, man. How are you? Everything's going great. So tell us, man, you had some insane growth, especially in the last 30 days. Walk us through like what your growth's been. Basically, in the last 30 days, I added 8K, so like $8,000 in uh, revenue it's around from 3k around 3k to doing 11k in a small that's awesome nice to hear it. and then tell me what was the main client acquisition method you're using because i think when you joined the program like the client acquisition was like the hard part it was like maybe you didn't know what you're doing nothing really going too well for you walk me through what outreach method you're using or overall just how you're getting clients before i joined i experimented with cold email and some like different other outreach methods i got some level of success but it wasn't like sustainable and then when i joined the program i started using the method that you're tre teaching which is called like jamal hajid or it has like other names as well and basically i just started using that right away to be honest with you in the first like one to two months i had to learn that because for me it was a, a completely new way of like reaching out to clients which was really cool but i had to learn it there was a learning curve but when i like mastered it it just completely exploded as you can see in like in the last 30 days so basically i would say like 90 percent of my growth was from that like one outreach person that's awesome and then walk me through what you actually do for your clients. Like what is your offer? And then also what does like the deliverables look like? I have a YouTube agency. I target coaches, consultants, and also like agency owners. I basically just like work with entrepreneurs, have them scale with you to make more money. And I have a fully down for you service. So basically the offer is like the offer offer, like my main like title on the landing page is that I will add them a 10 to $20,000 MRR in the next 90 days or they just don't pay. But basically like the offer is, is just making them more money with YouTube. It differs to every client that I work with so it's not like always the same in terms of the deliverables it's a fully down for your service so we take care of the ideation the scripting the editing also the scheduling and basically the whole uh, youtube management so the only thing that they have to do is to just like record the content and then also just like handle the leads they are getting from the channel awesome okay that's sick and then your clients so far like they've stuck with you like for a while how's that been on the retention side i've got a lot of new clients in like the last 30 days so obviously i, I can't talk about like how much of them you know will stuck with me and like uh, i will keep them but in terms of like the clients that i worked with previously the retention rate has been like pretty good there always obviously been some of the clients that churned but that's always a learning process for me as well i think for some of the clients that churned the reason was that i just didn't target the right people that i can you know actually get results for because there's a lot that goes into actually targeting the right people so uh, that i can make sure that i can get them really good results but yeah the targeting has been a lot better since i joined the program and that also just helped me to increase the retention rate of the clients and just to retain more clients and obviously that will just make me more money. Yeah, you hit on a good point there. Like the client selection part is like really important because it's like, yeah. sure, you can maybe sign someone who's making like 10K a month and then you close them on like a 3K a month thing. But like realistically, how long can they afford to stay with you? Even if you get them results, like they're still going to probably drop off within like 30 days. Yeah, Client selection is a huge part. How much time per day do you typically spend on the golden bullet method, also known as Dream 100? Basically my KPI or like the daily like set amount of, of Dream 100s that I have have to send out is four so like i just like chose that number i know you recommend five but i rather just choose four and then to stay super consistent and on the days that i can do more i do more and so like basically i average around four or five dream 100 per day which translate to around like three to five hours of, of just you know doing that outreach method daily and it's been you know super high arrow i think yeah that's awesome and then i know you mentioned also like the sales call volume you're getting is like super low but the quality is just super high because of this outreach method we're using do you want to walk me through like how many sales calls you take per week because i know with a lot of people i mean including myself i don't want to be on phone calls all day right but with the golden bullet method like the quality of each client is so high so walk us through like how many calls do you typically like take per week sales call wise and then also you know do they close Close, like easily or are they like super difficult to close right now i would say i'm between like two to three calls on average per week sales calls it hovers a bit because obviously in the last month there were a bit more before that it was a bit less but yeah i would say like right now about like maybe two to four four sales calls per week and they are basically all from that just one method that dream logic method that i'm using and the thing with this is it's a super like high leverage a high value outreach method so i'm providing them a lot of value this makes it much easier to close them they are much more invested in you know the service that i offer they trust me much more they know the basically the whole service before they even like jump on a call with me so that makes closing them much easier so i don't need like a huge volume of sales calls i don't need to like you know take five sales calls every week to be able to like scam my agency i can take just a couple of sales calls per week i'm not sure about the the closer 
with. And also there are a couple of people who I do like multiple calls with and it takes a bit longer to close them. But overall, the close rate is like much higher like uh, than from, for example, a method like cold email, for example, like the close rate is just much lower using those methods. And yeah, this just saves a lot of time. It makes the whole sales process easier. So I definitely like that part. Cold email has just never worked for me. I don't know if it ever worked for you like at all, but even the other people in the program, like automated cold email for us selling content services, it just doesn't work. So yeah, this method is way, way better. On the fulfillment side, right? What does the team structure look like? Do you have video editors handling that? Are you using AI to help you with the scripts? What does that flow look like? Yeah. So first of all, I implemented AI when you launch this whole like, you know, AI script writer, AI ideation tool, I implemented it into my business, but mainly into the part of the outreach method. So like in, into the Dream 100, I also started using it with clients, but I more so use it with just the, you know, Dream 100 outreach method. And that saves like a lot of time and also more of a brain power. Like it doesn't save that much time. Like it, it's not like I just do it with a couple of clicks. Still, obviously it needs that human touch and I have to review it, but just the brain sort of like power that is saved that I don't have to like think and you know, just write out the whole script. I can just review the script the AI gives me. It's really cool. So yeah, that saves a lot of time and like brain power for me. And in terms of the team structure, so I have right now, I think five or six editors. I'm just currently like hiring. I just hired like two. So yeah, the team is growing. I have one thumbnail designer and I basically just, you know, have a full Slack channel with all the editors, thumbnail designers and also the clients. And that's where I communicate with them. That's awesome. Yeah, that's super underrated where you just save brain power from the scripting. It's like, yes, the AI is good. You still have to touch it up a little bit. You know, obviously it's not that much work still. Then the brain power you save, it just like makes life so much more fun. So that's great. On the editor hiring side, I mean, don't tell us how you hire the editors. We keep that for the program, but walk me through like, was it difficult to bring on editors? Like before you joined the program, was that like a huge like thing? You didn't really know how to do it properly. Didn't know how much to pay them, how to get them, the interview process, et cetera, versus now, like, has it been much easier? Yeah, it definitely made it easier. Like in the program, there's a specific method of like getting editors, which is really cool. I've been experimenting course with a couple of other methods as well, but yeah, the, the program that you outlined in the course or in the program is, is definitely really good and it helped me a lot to kind of systemize the whole process and I wouldn't say it was like a huge button like back then because you know I just didn't have that much of a volume of videos to just make it a, a big button like but you know right now it definitely would have been a, a super big button like if I you know didn't know how to do it properly so yeah it definitely saves me from a lot of headache yeah some people at like zero dollars a month are like panicking like oh how do I get editors whatever it's like bro you need to worry about getting clients you know what I mean so yeah completely makes sense that it wasn't a problem beforehand where do you see the business going in the next like six to 12 months revenue wise my goal right now for the end of september is 20k per month like i'm not sure if i will eat it it's like 50 50 i would say but i'm going good like i'm scaling pretty well and i'm definitely happy about it like my goal for the end of the year before you know scaling to like 11k was 20k per month but i just shifted it to like end of september because i was just scaling so fast so i was in the next like six to 12 months honestly like scaling to 50k per month i uh, think it's pretty realistic in the next like six to 12 months definitely 50k per month and yeah just trying to keep the margins and also just trying to deliver and, and keep the quality of the service as high as possible with that. I'm not sure how it will go with there will be a lot of like new challenges coming up throughout that journey of like scaling to 50k per month. But yeah, I think it's definitely a really sick goal to aim for in the next like six, two to 12 months. Yeah, definitely with someone like yourself where you're like rigid about like your daily KPIs, what you need to do on a daily basis and you're executing day in, day out. Like yeah, definitely 50k is 100% doable. So Shemu, if someone's on the fence about joining the Creator Catalyst program, like what would you tell them? I would definitely say that if if you're the type of person who will actually like not just watch the course modules and just like use it as entertainment, but actually like just get to work and, and you know, start implementing it uh, right away. It's basically impossible to not get results from it. But the thing that most people don't say about joining these programs, and I wouldn't say that this is the case for everyone, but it was the case for me. There was a learning curve at the beginning and it, it wasn't with just that program. It was like programs that I've taken before that. There's a learning curve for me per se. Obviously, there are a couple of people who just got like insane results in just like the first 30 days, but for me that was a learning curve which was only that I had to learn all the stuff that you taught and also just like mastering them and actually trying to implement them the right way day in day out and there was like a couple of weeks and a couple of months of learning curve for me personally now I think that you know many people just give up when there's a learning curve like this you know I truly think that the people who won't give up and just like push through that will be super like very well rewarded because that's really what it takes to just like scale to 10k per month 20k per month and you know over that I would assume and you know what I found out is these programs are short cut especially this one like it literally just catapulted me from like basically having a agency but which was rather just you know a video editing sort of freelancing business to right now 
just actually running a proper agency. So it like completely transformed my business, but it's not like you don't have to put in the work and don't have to do anything. You actually have to put in the work. So if you're someone like this and you actually are not afraid to get work and actually just implement the stuff that you were uh, being taught in the program, then, you know, it's actually for you and it's basically impossible to not get results. Yeah. I'm glad you said that because yeah, the program isn't something where it's like, oh, you buy it and then it's like, you just do nothing and then you make money. It's like, no, you have to, yeah. you have to work. Although, hey, it's not like 16 hour days or something. You know, like you said, you spend like three hours sending messages or so to prospects. But yeah. As long as you put in the work, the blueprint's there. Like you just got to go yeah. attack. So yeah, appreciate you for saying all that stuff. Thank you so much for your time today, Shamu. If anybody wants to join the Creator Catalyst program, it's going to be the first link in the description. And I'm also going to leave Shamu's links to his social media pages in the description as well if you want to check him out. All right, that's it. Peace out, guys. Peace.